Today's topic of discussion is diffusion. Diffusion, uh, this is a physical process and of course this is a natural process. This is the natural tendency of matter. This is the natural tendency of matter to diffuse. Okay. Means uh, molecules or substances or particles moves from regions of higher concentration to region of, regions of lower concentration naturally. This is the natural tendency, tendency of matter. Okay, and you will find the application of uh, diffusion in the fields of physics, chemistry, biology, as well as engineering. So, in all the fields of science and engineering, you will find the application of diffusion. In the field of mechanical engineering, you will find the uh, application of diffusion in so many cases. Again, diffusion of heat. Heat, this is energy. This is not matter. But diffusion occurs to reach heat from one point to another in a substance. Okay, so the basic concept is there is a region where matter is there and inside that region, in that region, there are two sub-regions where at one sub-region concentration is higher than the other one. So, in such cases, the matter starts moving, matter starts moving from regions of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. Yes, mathematical description is there. To study this diffusion process, mathematically you have to study fixed laws of diffusion. Two laws are there, which are called together fixed laws of diffusion. There you will get a relationship between uh, diffusion flux and concentration gradient. Of course, there is one more thing that is diffusion coefficient. Okay, so in case of uh, all the fields of science and engineering, you will find the application of diffusion. So, I have already discussed the basic concept of diffusion as well as the mechanism. Okay, molecular movement that is involved in this mechanism. Brownian motion that is also involved. Again, thermal energy of the molecules that is also involved in the mechanism. Okay, due to the thermal energy of the molecules, they will have kinetic energy. Because if thermal energy is present, that means the molecules will vibrate. There will be random motion of the molecules. If it is gas or liquid, okay. And uh, that is responsible for diffusion to occur. So these are the reasons behind uh, the process diffusion and factors affecting, affecting diffusion rate. Yes, there are so many factors which, which may affect diffusion rate such as concentration gradient. Yes, that is the first point, concentration gradient. If there is a difference between concentrations at two regions, okay. Then there will be movement of molecules from uh, regions of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. Then temperature, yes, if temperature increases, then rate of diffusion process increases. Higher the temperature, higher the diffusion rate. Next is molecular size and mass. Molecular size and mass, yes, of course this matters. If uh, molecules are of smaller size and smaller mass, then diffusion rate is higher. Okay, and last one is medium. Yes, medium plays a uh, vital role in the diffusion process. Um, uh, the property permeability and the property viscosity of the medium. Okay, that affects, these two properties affect the diffusion rate. And then uh, diffusion in various fields, I have already discussed in various fields, means physics, chemistry, biology, engineering, everywhere you will find the application of division. In case of biology such as uh, exchange of gases in our lungs, then, uh, then uh, in cells, there will, you will get the process of division. Cells when I am talking about biological cells, okay. There you will find the application of diffusion in chemistry dissolution, okay, chemical reaction, 
in all these cases he will get diffusion in the field of chemistry in physics uh, heat transfer that is a process of diffusion okay so uh, then again dispersion of light that is also a process of diffusion so in so many cases you will find the application of diffusion and okay I have already talked about everything uh, each and everything about diffusion but not the mathematical description in a separate video I will discuss mathematical description of uh, the process diffusion means there I will discuss fixed laws of diffusion okay so this was all about diffusion process this is nothing but a physical process and this is natural tendency okay no external forces requires to apply to the for the process to occur okay this is a natural process this is the natural process of matter to spread out okay if there is a difference in concentrations means if concentration gradient ex exists if there is a if there is no difference between between the concentrations at two regions okay then there is no concentration gradient if there is a difference then concentration gradient exists and if concentration gradient exists there will be diffusion okay okay anyway this was all about diffusion process okay so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video